Hey, this is Kaf Kuba. Me and my boy are going on a mushroom hunt today. This is Devil's Hop Yard in Connecticut. This here is an Amanitus. Don't eat that, Petey. This could be the white angel of death. You can tell by the skirt. And it grows uh, out of a bulb in the ground. It starts off as a little egg. When it comes out, it makes this skirt because it has an un furls it leaves that skirt behind I'm not sure it's a white angel of death but by uh, as a rule I don't touch or eat anything in the Amanitus family these are the falls at Devil's Hop Yard I usually can't stand here because the water's rushing over but it's been drier than a witch's tit this summer so everything's dried up so we probably won't find many mushrooms Will we, Petey? This is a bullet mushroom. It's a little hard to tell. It's kind of composed, decomposed, so never eat a mushroom that's in anything other than freshest of conditions they're harder to identify and they certainly don't taste well here we have a few little tiny chanterelles again not very easily identifiable these are small um, I've eaten these in the past they're not bad these are a little far gone come on Here's a green russula, typical for the dry ass summer ass months. Nothing you want to eat or have anything to do with really. These are typical all summer long when it's dry and miserable. Not worth a damn. And don't eat these ferns either. These aren't the ferns you want to eat, nor the stage. That's another amanitus. Can you tell me why? Show underneath. It's got fragments of a skirt. Gillies. And gills. That's also far gone. Chuck that bitch. There's a little red russula. Again, worthless. Look at these friendship piles. Add a stone. I'm really not sure what this is because it's as dry as leather now. It's not an oyster mushroom because oyster mushrooms grow in clusters and are much smaller. But it's kind of got that oyster mushroom look. I have no idea what that is. It's too far gone. But it is growing on a tree. And the tree looks like some kind of a bird. asp. Petey, don't go too close to the edge. Hey, that's the campsite we pass on the way in. Isn't this lovely? Here is a nice, healthy bullet. Young, healthy, and look, if you rub the uh, pores, they turn blue. 
That's a blue staining bullet. A lot of them do that. And this one's actually uh, this one's actually uh, very tasty, if I recall. Except I'm not sure why nothing's coming in focus. <laughs> Piece of shit. Hold it further. Bacterious mushroom, named so for the milky substance it secretes. Break it in half. Hard to see. It's more in the gills. But it's bitter. That one's bitter. There are some good ones. This is actually one of the few amanitists I would eat. Uh, I believe it's a, I think it's a, I forget what it's called, a Caesar. Caesar amanitist. I can't remember. Something like that. Some Roman guy. And uh, it's bright orange, easily distinguishable from the other amanitist mushrooms. And uh, it smells good, but I haven't had one. Boink. It's hot! Are some bicolored bullets, named so for the bicolor, like reddish, yellowish, a little bit of oranges. They are also a blue, blue staining mushroom. I've eaten these, they are actually okay. They're called choice mushrooms, but I wouldn't call them choice. I have still yet to find the mother load of choice mushrooms today. You can see all the worm holes in them. Worms like them too. Nice. Devil's Hop Yard. Having fun with a blue staining bullet. These are coral shelf mushrooms or chicken mushrooms. Normally they're bright orange when they're ripe and ready to be picked. These are all rotten and faded. Damn, there's a million dollars worth of mushrooms here. Take a swim? You wanna take a swim? There's a sweet monster. And so ends our mushroom hunt. We come full. We walked about five miles through the hot woods, found a handful of mushrooms, and uh, here we are back at the base of the falls. Ungawa 